Okay, here's um devil I'm working on, big nose. Got a scratch over here, and I got right over here a big dimple, like a big gouge in the coin that was there before. So now this here is just a little tiny tiny punch. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, this the punch used to be a burr. Rotary burr. There's a rotary burr. You can see there's a little fluted ball in the end. Well, I grind those off. I just take them, put them on my grinder, straight up and down, like a nailing a nail in. And I grind off this ball. Then I take it and I tap it. Tap, 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 like this on one of my sharpening stones. And the sharpening stone, I just tap it on the surface of that. Tap, 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 tap. And then the tooth that's in here gets transferred into the edge of the bar. This one has the piece, but it have all different sizes. This one's a little pointier. Some of them will flatten out one area on it, like one side. Make it like a little D or bean tool is other people have said. There's a wider one. You have one that's real wide. And these are just all the old rotary burrs. There's one that I put a flat on. Make it a little chisel, see the other side's flat. The other side's flat. Looks like a little chisel, like for cutting in little tiny lines. So now I just put this in my air graver. And this is that little holder, you know. Just tighten it. And then I'll come in and get this here. This little there's a little bump here, a little line. And this is as far in as I could zoom, I'm sorry. So I just buzz that away. A little hard line right here. And buzz it away. This this is one this is one that has a little tooth to it. So this is gonna push the metal. If you have one that doesn't have a, the tooth to it, it's um let me turn the light down a bit. Maybe a little less light. You now you can see that better, I'm sorry. So here, a big scratch going through here. Let's see if I'm the camera. The scratch. So I'll come here and I'll just buzz right over that scratch. erases it and smooths it out. So all these things that like you see people doing with buzzing and moving metal and everything you do the same to smooth metal. And I'm just like at a you know right on 90 right like I'm gonna hammer this into the metal of the coin you know and I just take this very small point and smooth out. All little de details are just smooth and go into here and get little lines. Just push and slide sideways. Add more depth to the, the whole piece. So that's the coin. Like I said, it's about as close as I can get. Maybe if I Move the microscope down. Now I won't be able to look at it, but you can see. There's where the scratch was right in there. The areas I got to work on, I'm like right in here. The, the big piece here, I'm going to smooth this whole area out just by punching it. And you won't see this this cut here, you know. And that's it. And then right here I got to define the neck 
and then cut a little bit away here. Get some detail in here and smooth all this out and shape this collar. Have it come up and back down where this line was. And that's it.